Tonight, only on 7 News, they are women in your neighborhood. Mothers, daughters, or friends who have returned from war. Call 7 investigator John Ferrugia found that while we don't often hear their stories, many of them return home with wounds to the body and the soul. Oh, say, can you see? I was a special agent with the Air Force Office of Special Investigations. Please know what a superb role model you have been to so many of your fellow airmen. Master Sergeant Adele Lohr is retiring after more than 20 years in the Air Force, much of it as an OSI agent. Thank you for a job well done. I loved it. It was the best 11 years I had in my Air Force. Her job, she explains, was outside the wire, both in Afghanistan and Iraq, beyond the safer confines of a secure base. We would go meet with the locals in their homes and talk with them, build trust. Well, it's going to affect the base, who's targeting our troops, and how to stop that. It was a routine mission to pick up information from another unit in Baghdad that changed Adele's life forever. I didn't know what the hell happened. Apparently, an IED hit us from the right, and um, Dan Kohlmeyer was my partner. He was killed next to me, and then uh, Jesse was driving, Jesse DeVille. He was driving. He got killed. News photos show the Humvee veered through a concrete barrier and dropped about 20 feet to the highway below. Shrapnel had taken out my right eye, nixed my left, and um, that's what caused me to be blind. Um, piece went through my jaw, and so I broke my jaw, took out a chunk of my shoulder. Master Sergeant Adele Lohr, near death, was rushed to a forward base and was later flown to Germany where doctors saved her and began the first of many surgeries to save her left eye and repair her face. I was pretty angry I survived. Dan and Jesse both had little kids, so I was single, who cared, you know? So yeah, I was pretty pissed off. Thought God made a really bad choice there. But... Photos of her friend's memorial service in Iraq only reinforced her survivor's guilt. And Adele Lohr soon realized at Walter Reed Hospital that she too was facing a new and scary future. I snuck into the bathroom and looked in the mirror and that was the first time my reality hit me pretty hard. I, yeah, I look pretty jacked up. <laughs> Were you scared when you, when you saw yourself? Hell yeah, yeah. I was single, who, you know, who the hell would you know, date a girl that looked like that? During her recovery, Master Sergeant Lohr says she held on to the assurance by her commanders that she could return to her job as an agent. She had even qualified again with her handgun, but her immediate boss wanted her out. Because one-eyed agents were a liability. And he didn't say that to be mean, it was a fact. And One-eyed agents are a liability? Yes. She says she was pushed out of OSI and almost out of the Air Force, a supervisor telling her. If you would have died that day, you would have had a memorial, you would have had whatever. But since you live, now OSI has to figure out what to do with you. That sent her into a deep depression. Yeah, I got a little angry at God after that one. <laughs> I didn't understand. She began to question her self-worth. How could she ever feel comfortable again outside the only professional military life she had known? Initiate pedestrian challenge. Master Sergeant Laura was eventually assigned to help train and qualify security forces at Buckley Air Force Base, where she found purpose and more peace in her life. They have really supported me and helped me out here, and I hope I've done the same for them. That's cute, though. Can okay. I go try them on now? The scars don't rule me anymore like I allowed it to before. I mean, that dictated every day how I felt. As a civilian, she knows that most people won't understand that she's a wounded warrior and that her injuries are not the result of some accident. I think a lot of people have that, that thought that women aren't out there. I don't think they really understand that we're all right up there with them. There are no front lines. Congratulations. Thank you. I always thought, well, I'm single, who would care if I was gone, but... One. I got five other brothers and sisters. Two and three. I think I I'm truly am lucky to be alive now. <laughs> There are more and more women in our neighborhoods every year who have survived combat, and most of us simply aren't aware of their history or their sacrifice. And now that Adele Lohr is a civilian, she, like so many other vets of Iraq and Afghanistan, is really unsure of her next step in life, but she's also confident that whatever comes, she can handle it. And she told me, she said the one thing about it, she said, I'm not going to fail. Yeah, good for her. Yeah. But it, it does seem that we don't often hear from women war veterans. Any reason why? Yeah, you know, it, it's hard to know, but in spending time with uh, Master Sergeant Lore, now civilian, <laughs> Adele Lore, 
being a wounded vet is not better or worse for a woman, it's just much different. Yeah. But clearly many of those fears that both men and women have about the future are the same. I'm sure they are. Yeah. All right, very interesting. All right. Thank you, John.